He's made good at least on one campaign promise to keep some of those jobs from moving to Mexico, managing to convince the carrier company not to shut down part of its plant there in Indianapolis. So is that going to do anything to win over some of his harshest critics? South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham joins us now live from Capitol Hill. All right, Senator, do you think anyone there is going to give him a break? Some credit for this. I hope so. He deserves some credit. And I would, if you really want to save thousands of more jobs, Mr. President-elect, uh, get the XM Bank up and running. We've lost 500 jobs in Greenville, South Carolina, because GE couldn't get financing here in America. Had to go to the French XM Bank, and they required us to move 500 jobs. So if you get that bank up and running, you'll save thousands more. But congratulations. Well done, Mr. President-elect, good job. Well, what do you think about the, some of the nominees that he has had thus far? Do you think those are the kind of people that will get things done, like address this XM Bank issue you're talking about? I hope so. I haven't seen a name yet. I don't know this uh, Treasury guy. I wouldn't know him if I met him. But uh, the bottom line is the names on National Security, Secretary of State, the Fabulous Five, as I call them, uh, are all great choices. Uh, Mad Dog Madison, great defense secretary choice. Uh, uh, you know, well, we're still so waiting far, on that so one. Good. We do think he's yeah, the front runner, right. but, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but if he is picked, he's good, and there are other names out there for sec def that I think we could all support. So I think he's putting together a really good cabinet. Well, let's talk about your colleague, Senator Jeff Sessions, who uh, immediately, mm -hmm. he's up for attorney general. That's going to require going through the Senate. Right. You've got uh, Democrats there, some of them saying that they are concerned about his record. And I mean, I've, I've got an email inbox <laughs> full of people talking about what a terrible person he is. Uh, how do you think it's going to go for him in the Senate? Well, I think you'll have one friend in Lindsey Graham who say he's a very nice person. I disagree with Jeff on some immigration issues and other issues. He's a decent guy. He's a highly qualified, former U.S. attorney, uh, great man, good character, will give good, sound legal advice to, to President Trump. I enthusiastically support him uh, for uh, attorney general. I, I, I'm, I'm sure he'll do well at the hearing. I'll ask him hard questions, uh, but he's going to get confirmed. Good choice. All right, someone else that you may have some disagreements with about uh, immigration, the president-elect. Uh, you know what a hard line he took uh, with Senator Sessions right there by right. his side during his campaign, and a lot of people liked what they heard, and that's why they voted for him. Now I understand that you and some colleagues from both sides of the aisle are working on a bill that would give mm -hmm. protections to people who came right. here as children illegally. They're here illegally, but they right. came here as right. kids. Uh, it's something that uh, went all the way to the Supreme Court when the president uh, used executive action to extend some of those programs. Uh, so now you want to draft something. Explain it for us, because listen, when I put this out sure on will. Twitter, the response, as you imagine, was mixed in some of the words I can't say on TV unless I want to pay a fine. <laughs> well, I hope you turn their names over to Santa Claus because it's almost Christmas. Here's what I want to do. President Trump is right to repeal the executive order that President Obama uh, issued. Uh, you can't just randomly pick people and give them legal status as president. That's outside the constitutional authority of the president. He chose to do that. These kids did not choose to come to America. They were brought here by their parents But as is there an children. incentive for their parents to bring them here if they know just, they're going to get some just, kind of deal? Uh, yeah, there'd be plenty of incentives if we don't fix this. If we don't secure our border, if we don't control illegal immigration, they'll keep coming. But there's 740,000 of these kids who signed up for this program that President Obama originated. Here's what I would advise President Trump to do. Set aside the executive order and urge Congress to give legal status to these kids for at least a few years until we can fix the problem overall. Here's my belief. Two wrongs don't make a right. It was wrong for Obama to do this, and it would be wrong for this country to take these 740,000 plus children, throw them back into the shadows after they've come out and told us who they are and where they live. And I think 75% of America would want to treat these kids better than throwing them uh, back into the shadows. Well, 